Hi, I'm Kitty of the Hobart Dolls Hospital and welcome to the Hobart Dolls Hospital YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to restore the eyelashes on a pedigree doll. This particular technique can be used on quite a few other models of dolls as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and welcome. So in restoring your doll's eyelashes, you can use eyelashes designed for humans or eyelashes designed for dolls. And if they're the wrong colour, you can colour them with a permanent marker, as long as you do that before applying the eyelashes. But it's a very easy way to change the colour of the eyelashes. You can also make them using human hair. It's a great technique for making eyelashes for vintage dolls or antique dolls. Very thin double-sided tape is used to hold the lashes together. And that's um, some eyelashes I created that was very good for an antique German doll that I was restoring. They're very authentic in appearance. And, and so it really does make um, restoring a doll that much more successful. I decided to use um, eyelashes designed for people on this particular doll because I find these eyelashes do look lovely on these uh, pedigree dolls. You can straighten the eyelashes by laying them in between a baking paper and ironing them, and that will straighten them out for you if you want to uh, keep them as close to what the original eyelashes would have looked like. Then using a scalpel, clean thoroughly around the lid, particularly around that little slit around the bottom of the lid, because that's where the new eyelashes will be going. I use a sharp scalpel for that and tweezers. If your hands aren't very steady, I suggest using something not as sharp as a scalpel because you don't want to risk damaging the doll. Now, pardon my large thumb, I inherited from my grandfather. It does get in the way sometimes when I'm trying to record my work, so my apologies for that. So spend your time removing any residue from inside that slit any old pieces of eyelash, any glue, or any of the remaining uh, tape that the, the original eyelashes would have been applied with. Then take the eyelashes that you're going to use and lay them across the lid and trim them to the length that you feel you need. Now, when I did this, I found that they were just a fraction too long. So I then trimmed a little bit from the outer edge of the eyelashes. Don't trim from the inside edge because then it mightn't sit quite right and they mightn't look quite right. A uh, milk bottle lid is great for mixing the epoxy adhesive in that I like to use. Five minute epoxy adhesive is excellent because it sets relatively quickly, but at the same time, it, it gives you time before it is set to move the eyelashes around and get them into place. So mix it thoroughly. I like to use a, a thin icy pole stick and I really give it a very, very good mix around. Then when it comes to applying the glue, I like to use a pin, particularly the pins that have um, like a, a, a little round pearl on the end of it. You can hold that end and it's very easy to manipulate. And then by using the pin, you're, it's much easier to precisely apply the glue just where you want it. You're less likely to get it in spots that you don't want the glue to get to. Make sure you apply plenty along that edge. Not, not too much that's going to drip off. And if while applying the glue you notice any little bits of eyelash there, as I have just done just then, make sure you stop and remove it because the cleaner that area is, the better the end result is going to be. Once you've applied the glue, then lay the eyelash as close to the slit as possible and then using your scalpel blade, using the pointy part, press the edge of the eyelash in through that slit and into place. It's fairly easy to do. 
just be careful you don't actually touch the doll's face with your scalpel blade of course and then press the eyelashes down a little bit and that will make them sit down against the lid and it makes for a much more natural appearance. If you want to trim the eyelashes then wait until the set and I find the best tool for trimming the eyelashes is using a pair of manicure scissors. Again, hold the other eye still while working on the eye. And by holding the other eye still, it stabilizes your work area. The eye doesn't move while you're working on it. And there are the scissors. They're excellent. That shape means that they can cut around the edges of the eyelash. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Thank you for watching the Hobart Dolls Hospital YouTube channel. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you would like to ask any questions or make any suggestions. Bye for now.